So January is over. And with that, the first round of 31 days of game dev is over. This is day one, day two, day five, day eight, day 12, day 17, day 20, day 26, day 30 or 31 days of game dev. I took all of January, all 31 days, and I decided that I was going to do something every single day that would make my game an actual game. I decided that I needed some goals if I was gonna make this successful. So I wrote up a bunch of goals of what I wanted to see, what needed to be done, and I decided to put due dates on those. I've been working on this game for quite a while. I really needed to motivate myself, forcing myself to produce content every single day um, on TikTok and YouTube, showing the progress of what I did that day is gonna kind of create an accountability. And if I had that accountability, then maybe I could stay motivated. So I started out on day one with no real goals. I just knew what I had to do that day, and that was script separation. So I had long scripts in the earlier builds of the game where the hero would have all of the different components all in one large, huge, massive script. So it was really hard to find things that I needed. And also sometimes I would end up writing uh, twice the same bit of code because I didn't realize that it was already there because stop. I stop, 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 stop. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop it there because I, I talk a lot. If you want to see what happened during the 31 days of game dev, just, just go watch that. So long story short, I was able to cram in all of this development time that I really need to get done in 31 days. And the system really helped me stay on track. I was able to hit most of my goals, but there are some things I wish I had done differently. And so I wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to do differently and what I learned through the process. And maybe this will help you in your game development journey as well. When you have a massive project like my game is, there are bumps in the road everywhere. Every day you open up the project, there's gonna be something that might go wrong or you know, you don't see the end of what you're doing. And it could take forever. It could take years before you complete the project. And um, if you take any time away from the project and you do something else, you go on vacation, you go do some other thing, you end up losing track of what you were doing, you lose track of your motivation, and your your intent disappears. And that's really hard to, to maintain. And so I found that the 31 days of game dev did help me with motivation. Every single day I was able to stay motivated. And um, even when I had difficult days, like there were two or three days in a row where I just couldn't come up with a solution, but we were able to move on we were able to keep going and I was able to stay motivated. So the 31 days were really beneficial for motivation. And depending on what your focus is, depending on what the agenda is for whatever, how many days you set where you're gonna do it every single day, whether that's 31, 30, 100, who knows. But if you focus on mechanics, it's very, very, it gets very complicated very quickly. Um, mechanics is a very on off system. There is no in between, right? It's either the mechanic doesn't exist or it does exist, right? And then once it exists, then of course there's going to be the, the minutia of does it work well, optimize it, all that stuff, right? When you're trying to create a new mechanic and you're running into bugs and problems, that could take a whole day on its own and you have nothing to show for it unless you want to show the code, which not really that many people want to see the code that you've got. They want to see the result. When you're focused on mechanics, you have to actually show some results. You have to show uh, what you can now do with the player, what those mechanics do, not necessarily the time that you spent, the code that you wrote. So realizing that, that I need the daily motivation, but at the same time, I can't use mechanics to be that driving factor. Otherwise, I would end up spending hours and hours and hours a day. And eventually, eventually after enough of, of daily uploads of daily progress, eventually I'm going to hit a wall where I just don't want to do it anymore.
So during those 31 days, I'm going to be live streaming. And uh, during the live streams, that's when I'm going to take the art, the animation that we've done and port it into the game, adjust the, the, the mechanics, possibly add new mechanics. We'll see how it goes, but that's going to be contained within the live stream. So if we complete things, then we've completed things. If we couldn't quite fix it, well, the live stream is over. We were able to do the best we can. We're going to wait for the next live stream. We'll fix it then. And so I think that's a much more balanced and healthy way of going about it. That's what we're going to be doing in March. I'm going to be doing 31 days of animating. Uh, we're going to be drawing the character, maybe some of the enemy. And throughout that, I'm going to try to do every Monday. We're going to be uh, live streaming and we're going to be live streaming mechanics, right? We're going to be importing the art that we've done. And so after those 31 days, we're going to assess it. We're going to see what I learned from those 31 days from the new model. Is it sustainable? Is it something that I can keep going? If you think that this has helped you, if I've been able to help you in any way in your process, in the in the motivation model that you're going to go after, um, that please leave a like. It really helps me out. Leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Crazy, right? Why would you ever do that? But if you could, that would be really helpful and I'd really appreciate it. And so can't wait for March. March 1st, we're going to start with 31 days and uh, I'll see you then.